Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is the Pregnancy Series, and I'm Jen. And I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. So in this episode, we're actually going to be talking about something a little different, body image and positive self-talk. Whether you're in your first trimester or you're in your third trimester, the things that you're saying throughout the course of your pregnancy to yourself and what your partner is telling you really matters. And with that said... Amen. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's get it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. <laughs> body image and positive self-talk. It is so important because... As women and as the partners in the pregnancy and going through it, the things that you say to yourself throughout the course of your pregnancy as you are changing and the things that your partner says to you as your body is changing throughout your pregnancy really matters. Yeah. And I thought that it was really important to talk about it because I don't think I've seen too many videos on this and it's something that definitely needs to be discussed. Definitely. And I haven't seen too many videos on this either, mm -hmm. so I think this is perfect for us to talk about because this is what we're about. We're about having authentic conversations mm -hmm. and also conversations that aren't had too often. Yeah. And when it comes to pregnancy, this is something that every woman but every relationship needs to hear mm -hmm. as they go into this new transition of pregnancy. Definitely in that yeah. first trimester where things are really starting to change. Of course. Like, I mean, as women, we're already really hard on ourselves. And we can be really hard on ourselves from what we see on social media. Everyone looks glamorous. Everyone has the perfect shape. Everyone has it all together. And so if you're already kind of having some, some self-doubt or maybe body image issues, I know I have struggled with body image issues in the past, like when I was in high school and stuff, just being really hard on myself um, from what I, what I would see visually. Going into a pregnancy is so important that you really instill confidence in yourself. Mm. And you may not have it at that time, but finding ways to gain confidence because right. as you're changing, you know, you may not feel as beautiful. You may not feel as um, as together as you had it before, but you are still beautiful. You are still beautiful in and out. And it's so important that you remind yourself of that and that your partner reminds you of that. I know for me, I'm 15 weeks pregnant now and I struggled a little bit because I'm in this right in between stage where you can't tell that I'm pregnant if you didn't know me, but I have noticed physical changes and my belly has grown. Mm -hmm. So there has been a time or two where in the beginning where I looked at my, my, myself and something tight and was just like, Ooh, I don't, Ooh, I don't know. Jen, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. And I just had to remind myself of that. But it's so important that we tell ourselves, I embrace the changes that come and I am beautiful throughout this process. And there are times when we're not going to feel the most beautiful. We may feel a little insecure, but it's so important that we pour into ourselves and remind ourselves how beautiful we are and doing things that make us feel beautiful inside right. and out and having a partner that pours into the wife or the girlfriend or the mom to be because we're vulnerable and we, we really need, we really need that. Right. Um, so I just thought that it was, it was important that, we just touch on that real quick. You know what I mean? Because it's I, not something that's often talked about. No, I don't think it's often talked about. Now, when you're talking about how your partner should should be there for you, mm -hmm. I think that is 100% true. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you. Sure. Like, do you feel like you've been supported? Do you feel like I have been there for you to mm -hmm. help you along this journey of this new transition of pregnancy and making mm -hmm. you feel beautiful and yeah. saying good things? or? Mm -hmm. Have I not been doing that? Uh, I would say absolutely not. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no, you uh, certainly have in times where I may not have had the most confidence in myself. You helped me pull it out by just words of affirmation and telling me how beautiful I am and acknowledging that I have had some physical changes, but it's because it's for the growth of our baby. Right. And I still look beautiful and embracing how I have grown to to grow a baby inside of me and I feel like you've been so supportive and there are times where I have to figure out how to pull it out of myself as well because that love can't only come from your partner giving it to you you have to learn how to have it within yourself Amen. and find ways to to pull it out within yourself so that you know what self-love feels like yeah um, but you definitely have you definitely have helped me 
And sometimes where I'm a little, you know, where I could be a little hard on myself, you give me that extra boost and that confidence. And I'm like, I am looking good. I am feeling good. And I'm a mom. I'm a mom to be. And I'm a beautiful mom to be. And I am just embracing the changes that come along with it. Amen. And I'm I'm very happy to hear that you think that I'm doing mm-hmm. a good job with that. And I think that's important for this time period mm-hmm. in particular. But more than more than just this time period, mm-hmm. this nine months where mm-hmm. things are very unique, I think it's important in a relationship yeah. for the man to always backing his woman, always mm-hmm. making sure that she feels beautiful and that she knows yeah. that her man thinks that she looks beautiful and mm-hmm. that she is everything that you've always wanted. Mm-hmm. Like always giving positive affirmations to your partner, whether it's physical or mm-hmm. if it's for something other than physical, mm-hmm. like even doing little things around the house. I, yes. I, I see, I see you, you, you took care of that. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate how you did this and that. Yeah. Like positive words of affirmation and given that confirmation to know that your partner sees everything that you're doing mm-hmm. and how you're moving and mm-hmm. everything like that is so important. And yeah. I take a lot of pride in that. Mm-hmm. And definitely during this time period where you're feeling things are changing for you yeah. and you might not feel the best physically mm-hmm. and you're not working out right now because you weren't feeling like it, mm-hmm. you know, the first trimester it was mm-hmm. tough for you. So, you know, not being in the right headspace when it comes to like, man, my life is changing mm-hmm. and I'm not working out. So I'm not feeling like that fit snatch gen mm-hmm. that I usually am. Mm-hmm. Having a man to be there to validate you mm-hmm. and make sure that he is saying all the right things to make you feel beautiful, make you feel like your right. regular self yeah. and, and let you know like, hey, this is a part of the journey. Yeah. You know, like that is so important. Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to do that. Um, but I don't want that to just be for the pregnancy. It's, it's for it's a lifetime. Of course. Of just, positive affirmations that I want to give to you and I've given to you beforehand and that's who I want to be as a man yeah and then also understanding that um if you are in a space where you are feeling a little insecure you're not really um in a space where you're just loving your body and all the changes that come with it you know being pregnant that's also okay Mm. and it's okay to feel those feelings but you have to find ways that work best for you to change it as well so that those aren't the mindset that you develop even postpartum after you have the baby because you are beautiful with all of your changes and if you have a partner that doesn't necessarily know how to be there for you or how to help you feel more beautiful or how to help you throughout the process that's where it's really important to communicate Mm. and say like babe i know you haven't been feeling your best I know you've been, you know, making comments about the way you look and things like that. And I I want you to know that you are beautiful inside and out. But also, how can I be there for you? What can I do Mm -hmm. as your partner to support you through Mm -hmm. this so that you feel love, so that you can pull that confidence out of yourself? Like, what is it that I need to do? How can I help? Right. And I think that's so important because we can't do it alone all the time. You know, a lot of it does take it's a combination of independent self-work, but also having your partner help yeah. you throughout it as well. And so and I and mm-hmm. that's a good point and I definitely agree. And the point that I took away from what you just said mm-hmm. was the individual self work that you have to do mm-hmm. I think is the most important oh, part yeah, of it. Oh yeah, most crucial, because yeah. Yes, it is great to have a partner to be there for you and say great things Mm -hmm. to support you along this journey of pregnancy and just make you feel better for sure. Mm -hmm. But not everybody's in that situation or that position where they have a partner Mm -hmm. or even if they're even in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when they're going through it alone, they might be going through it alone. So the first and foremost, most important thing is not the support of other people or even other family members. Yeah. You have to have it within yourself. Validation within yourself. Validation within mm-hmm. yourself to say, hey, this is the changes that I'm going through and you mm-hmm. have to embrace the changes and, mm-hmm. and be happy mm-hmm. with the changes that are coming. Yeah. And just 
have that feel that beautifulness yeah. within yourself. Yes. And yes. I know that takes that that could be easier said than done mm-hmm. in certain situations. Yeah. But over anything, the validation from a boyfriend, a husband, mm-hmm. a family member, mm-hmm. a mother or a father. Yeah. First and foremost is the validation within yourself. You of have course. to have that. You have to have and, that. And yeah. uh, everything else was second, but also very important. Yeah, too. it's very it's very yeah. important, but it definitely comes second. It, yeah. it, it starts with the independent self-work. Um, and then just another thing, too, from what I've had conversations with my sisters and friends and things like that. You absolutely want to be healthy throughout the course of your pregnancy, not only for the betterment of yourself, but the betterment of the baby so that the baby's developing properly. You have a healthy, smooth, successful pregnancy with Mm -hmm. hopefully, God willing, uh, very few complications. But just know that it's okay to tap into your cravings. Like, <laughs> it's, it, no, but seriously, it's okay. I think that, like, especially when it comes to pregnancy, we can really be, um, you know, we can, we can be really hard on ourselves. And I can't speak for every woman. I can only speak from my personal experience and what I'm going through right now and just things that I've watched in the past and videos and all of that stuff and doing research. But it is okay if you want to, I don't know, have a chili cheese dog or if you want to – have ice cream or or ramen noodles or this or that, like that is also okay. It's Mm -hmm. just about balance. It's about maintaining balance and also just having that positive self talk and also learning if you don't have that learning, how, how How do you do that? What are the steps? Yeah. What, what steps do I need to take so that I can develop this confidence within so that I have this healthy mind body connection. And And that's so important. It's not just about like, Oh, I want to look pretty and feel pretty. It's about having a well balanced, positive mind body connection because it it all works in tandem. Yeah, It all works in tandem. And that's a beautiful part or a beautiful point that you're making because Mm -hmm. I think there's some specific things that you can do and everybody is different, Mm -hmm. but there's some specific things that can work for your lifestyle that mm-hmm. can help you have that positive self-talk mm-hmm. um i think for you and I, i'm gonna speak for you because i know you okay but uh, <laughs> you like for you i'm like oh for me i think you know you do a meditation mm-hmm. you doing yoga mm-hmm. you taking 10 15 minutes out to read a book mm-hmm. you know take some time to yourself to really give you that that positive positive spark Mm -hmm. helps you with your positive self-talk to yourself and you know that first trimester was hard for you to um work out Mm -hmm. so you weren't feeling your best just because you weren't in the gym that was weird for you Mm -hmm. but now you have to and i think also it wasn't that because i wasn't in the gym it was just more so that i didn't feel well right and i didn't i didn't know how to navigate with still working full time, right. still being, you know, a wife and having a social life, but feeling really crappy every day. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a tough space for me to be in. And also learning that I had to slow down tremendously mm-hmm. for me. I, I'm used to being on the go. Mm-hmm. I'm used to lifting heavy things. I'm used to going from here and zipping and zapping and I couldn't, I couldn't do that in my first trimester. I really had to slow down and listen to my body, focus on rest, focus on being present, focus on being still, <laughs> focus on just not throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, I wasn't like the first thing in my mind wasn't like, oh, I got to get back in the gym because right. I just knew that that. That wasn't the space for me right mm-hmm. now. And that's OK. My focus is being healthy now. My, mm-hmm. What would you say are some things like I, I kind of spoke for you and yeah. I said like the yoga mm-hmm. and, and, and meditation. Mm-hmm. And, and I think yoga definitely helped. Definitely. Uh, definitely helped you. But your perspective, what would you say are some things that helped you give that, uh, that positive mm-hmm. self-talk to mm-hmm. yourself and body mm-hmm. image and all that stuff? Yeah, I would definitely say words of affirmation and highlighting things that I do like about my body. What do what do you love about your body? Mm pre-pregnancy and in your pregnancy right now Mm -hmm. what changes have you noticed and what about those changes do you do you like Mm -hmm. and understanding that 
I, yeah, so I think for me, definitely the words of affirmation really helped me because I can get in my head a lot and thoughts tend to ruminate. So for me, I want thoughts of positivity that's ruminating versus things that I need to work on and, and, and things that aren't what they used to be and all of that. Like, Good. no, it has to, I have to just have words of affirmation that's encouraging me and letting me know that you still got it. You are beautiful and you are growing a baby inside of you at the same time and you still doing it. Um, so Amen. that's you doing it me. good and you yeah. doing it confident. And yes. The best way that I can, because there are days where I'm, if I'm honest, I don't always feel confident, but mm. I know what steps that I need to take to help me pull that confidence right. out when I'm not feeling my best. And that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about that learning process yeah. along the way. Mm-hmm. And and before you, you finish, I was going to say definitely the yoga has helped me a lot because going back to the mind-body connectivity, yoga has this fascinating way, and you can do it with other workouts and things like that, but when you combine like the breath work with yoga to really – focusing on specific parts of your body and I'm doing prenatal yoga right now so it's really helping me connect with the baby with Mm -hmm. myself and with my mind all at the same time and it's a really it's been a really unique experience since doing it so far I mean I've only done it you know uh, a couple times but I I feel really good throughout doing it I feel really good after and the person whose classes that I'm taking um, online, she also does like daily affirmations. And so a lot of the things that she talks about, sometimes if I'm not having the best day and then she pulls out something that I'm feeling in the moment, it's just like, God be knowing. And God knows and God is like, this is the extra support that you needed. This is the additional, the words of affirmation. It's kind of going back to that. Do you have, it, do you have that. The, uh, the YouTube channel or the... Um, I can't think of her name off the top of my but, head, but, but we'll we can li- plug it in. Yeah, we'll yeah. plug it in. We'll yeah. link it um, so that other people can take a look at it mm-hmm. because we want to provide resources too. Mm-hmm. Even even if it's not a, a, a paid sponsorship or, or an ad, Yeah, like we want to provide valuable information that is actually going to help people. And this is obviously something that's not sponsored, but it's something that's helping Jen, mm-hmm. helping somebody that's pregnant and yeah. just went through the first trimester. And it's helped. So we're mm-hmm. going to plug that in there. You can look in the description down below for that link. Mm-hmm. I think this is an incredible topic. And yeah. I think something that obviously isn't discussed too often. And yeah. this is the conversations that mm-hmm. we have. I think. And something you, that we can expound on further as I right. continue to progress along in the pregnancy. Right. Yeah. And I think that first trimester is always a little weird for the, the women out there who are going through it because you're not really seeing the actual belly bump yet, Mm -hmm. but well, some women actually are. Oh, okay. So well, in the later stages, in the later, the later weeks, but but not in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. But regardless, Mm -hmm. I mean, like you're still in that in between stage. Yes. The in between things starting to form. Yes. So your body is changing, but it's really not there yet, but it's starting to get there. So then you start to be like, is this, is this fat or is this, yeah. is this, the, or is yeah. this the baby? Yeah, is this the baby? And and you just got to get out of that And it might be a mindset. combination of both, and that's also okay. And that's okay. Yeah, it's like, that's you okay. know, it's okay, but it's, it's, something it's that the you, self-talk, and it, it, it's it's a mindset shift. Yeah, it's something and, that you yeah. uh, had a little bit of trouble with going uh, oh, at, yeah. in, the, in the beginning. For and sure. that's why we're talking about it, mm-hmm. because I know that there's other, we know that there's other women out there that are probably going through the same thing. So why not talk about it? Exactly. And with that said, we are going to sign off for today. I'm Jen. I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey. Peace. Bye.